Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we got one from Mad Planet Guy which he has um, sent in so let's just get straight into today's system. So it's called the uh, Volcana, yeah the Volcana system here so let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us today. So I'm liking the background colour already, definitely reminds me of a, volca of a volcano or something. Alright. So this is a system based around the theme of volcanoes. Okay. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay. Sorry, there isn't anything crazy with doing more than here. It's my first system, and it's designed to stay realistic. Oh, so I wonder if you made this way back in the day then. Um, pressing play is required as there are asteroids intended to create impacts on one of the moons. And he also made a, a, an ocean, um, an ocean theme one. Okay, cool. Right. So yeah, there we go. So the volcanic system, pretty much all. Volcanic system. Right. So here is the first start of volcano here. It's quite a small object, red dwarf sort of size, slightly lower in temperature to get the orange colour to it, looking very nice. There we go, the luminosity I'm assuming is not very bright, yeah very very dim, it's got an object very close to it, so here is the first object called Vulcan here. Oh and I'm loving, it. oh my, wow, let's get, a, let's get a closer look at that, look at this. So this is a custom, another one of those custom like textured objects, a little funny in some areas but wow, from the, from the main area, look how good that looks, wow got craters on it i know he's used this for a couple of objects all in different colors which is really really cool but yeah look at it. it's got craters all different areas that looks really cool i really like that he says there's nothing crazy with modern i think this is pretty advanced stuff right here but look at that i really like that wow very nice indeed looks really good in the starlight as well very volcanic looking indeed it's a vulcan there definitely a thumbs up right there next up we've got molter molter area here so this one is rolling with a blood red atmosphere loving that red right there looking very nice indeed let's look underneath it as well i'm not going to bother checking the stats on any of these because since they want to be volcanic this one's got quite a weird look to it actually it's got like one i mean is that water i'm assuming it's at 27 degrees here that's a very that's very weird it's very dark as well so you can't really see much going on i'm liking it though that's that's pretty cool so there we go so very very uh blood red indeed just for old times sake, check the stats. Yeah, very low on the life likelihood there. There we go. Next up, we've got Olympus here. So there here is this one. So it's also rolling with another red atmosphere. Not as vibrant color as the other one there. But yeah, there it is. So there is Olympus. So there we go. Next up, we got this one here. Ma Mona. I hope I'm saying this one right. So we've got this one here. It's also got um, a, a moon there. So there it is. Right, the moon, this one is extremely close to its um, planet there. But here is this one, so it's going with a nice, more of an orangey red atmosphere there. Got a red surface underneath as well. I have to say, I am quite a big fan of volcanic looking worlds, so I always have been. So, yeah, really, really nice indeed there. Looking good. And next up we got Salado here. This is a Titan atmosphere object. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Underneath it is a very volcanic looking object as well, with a very dark red and black there looking good so there we go moving on to pyro class Dissa here hope i'm saying that one right so there we go i know how to say that i just can't remember how to do it properly pyro class sticker I'm, I'm probably scrapping that but really bad but yeah apologies but yeah here is this one so it's a very very dark red and black banded object here so there it is. That actually looks really good looking i really like that wow it almost reminds me of Trace 2B, the very, very dark red glow it has. But yeah, that's looking really nice. So we've got that one there. Then we have Yellowstone here. That's named after the volcano in America. The super volcano, pretty sure most people would know that. Then we have this one over here. Dastana here. This one is ridiculously dark. Look at this. You can barely see it. Is that an atmosphere it's got as well? Yes, it is. So that's it underneath. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking that. So red and black cratered surface, custom sort of texture there. That's looking very, very nice right there. But that really dark atmosphere on it, damn. So there is that. Right, moving out, we've got this one next. Tectonica. So we've got this one here. We're going with a very orange um, banded object. A lot of bands it's got right here. Got some very, very um, small black bands in it as well there. Then we have uh, the moon here. Lava va. This one here. With the red and black as well, looking good there. Very nice. Then we got Magmus over here. This one's also rolling with that blood red atmosphere colour. So there it is. Looking good. Getting very dark as well since we're getting quite far away from the very dim star. I mean, the zone, you can see the Hassel zone is already is very, very far out as well. 
then they're moving even further out to the last object, Helens. Maybe it's named after... Isn't there a volcano or a mountain called Helens? I think there is. Um, but yeah, here it is. So, yeah, there we go. So it's a um, all-brown random spawn gas giant by the looks of it. Right there. So here we go. So it's, here are its moons. So here's one. This one's got a very unique look to it as well right there. So you've got that one. You've got this Tambora one. So this one's got a bit of yellow on it actually there. So that one's very unique out of them all. I've got Lackey here. So here's this one. There we are. That's got a very interesting look to it as well there. So there we go. So it's like textures to my solar system all just like tinted and stuff like that. But here's the next one. This one's like 6,000 degrees. Okay, so this one is asteroids. So this is the one we need to click play on. That one actually, I really like that. Like the dark, the yellow with the dark red. That looks really good, actually. I like that. So we'll definitely come back to click play on that. Um, and we got Ruiz over here. That's just an asteroid. Okay, so these are all just asteroids then. Etna. I know that. I know for in it. I definitely know Etna. Mount Etna. That's another one. And then we got this one. Okay, cool. But yeah, let's go back to um, where was it? Where, where'd that object go? Uh, let's see. No, it was. Oh, I've lost track of it. Now where did it go? Uh, it... Yeah, was it this one? No, it was the one. No, it was the one before, wasn't it? That one's pretty yellow and looking as well. Actually, let me just go to asteroids to create them back. There we go. So here we are. Right. So let's go ahead and use the play function that this system has. So I'm guessing it's already put to the correct speed. So we're going to click play. Those guys are all going to crash into it. So. Oh, there you go. So there's some. So it almost looks like erupting volcanoes, which is quite cool. So maybe that's the feel he wanted us to have here. Otherwise, it's just meteor impacts. But yeah, there you go. So we've got a few asteroids in there, and they do sort. Of, they do look like erupting volcanoes, actually. That does actually look really cool. So yeah, there we go. See the massive shock waves coming out of those guys as well. I'm guessing they'll go all the way around the planet. Oh no, they just disappeared. But yeah, there we go. So then they would eventually cool off as well. Oh, the actual object looks like it's heating up as well. Oh, so now the, so as soon as a few volcanoes are up, the whole object just goes nuts. So as you can see, the whole thing now is just melting. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, really cool. Um, I like the play feature in that. Definitely a thumbs up for that. But yeah, there we go. So I think that is the whole of the system. Yeah, that's everything. So that is a pretty nice little system, I have to say. Very nice job there. So we've got, uh, so this gas giant is actually bigger than the um, star itself there. But yeah, really, really cool. So the Volcano system, really like the theme. But yeah, like I said, I really, really do like the Volcano f sort of theme with objects. So yeah, there we are. But yeah, that gas giant, 100%. Best one in here. I really like the Pyro class tier one. That one looks really, really cool. But then moving on to the rocky objects. Oh, that one looks like it was Tethys at one point, that giant crater on it. I only just noticed that. that actually looks really cool but favorite rocky i think was the first one we saw this vulcan i really like the way that looks that black with like the lighter it definitely looks like a molten sort of surface there really really like that i also did like this blood red one and then the one that we collided load of asteroids into i did like that one as well so yeah they're my top objects here guys but let me know which objects should you think are the best out of all of these as well and also if you've got your own systems ascending make sure to uh, join my discord link below in the description and then go to my upload chat in the discord channel and then you can drag your system file right in there so remember that's the only way you can get a system in these videos so yeah please keep that in mind because a lot of people have been spamming the comments with or spamming the spam box i should say actually because i can't actually see these comments unless i go in the spam box so yeah, a lot of people are spamming links so yeah trust me that will not get in a video so you just go ahead and join the discord it's a lot easier it's a much simpler process and it doesn't spam the spam box up so yeah please uh keep in mind and um, that is um the best way to get um systems in um right there but yeah that is everything guys so let's see if we can go for 40 likes for this really cool volcanic system and yeah guys i'll, I'll see you all in the next video goodbye